Most machines will have a flat bed. This is the area around the needle that helps you push the fabric through and keep it nice and flat. On this machine we take off a piece that wraps all around to convert to free arm. Now we do this to get a smaller area on which you can put things like cuffs, trouser legs etc. And it makes it a lot more easily sewn all the way round. The other thing to look for is in the piece that you take off you often find the tools that come with the machine. These would be the spare feet, thread retainers, a few spare bobbins, seam on ripper, the screwdriver etc. Moving on from there every machine also has a balance wheel also known as the flywheel which is on the far end of the machine which is used to take stitch by stitch. It's also very good just for lowering the needle always turn the dial towards you and you can actually take one stitch at a time using the balance wheel. I mentioned earlier about lowering the feed dogs but the lever to do that here is actually found when you take the free arm piece off and it's at the back of the machine behind the throat plate. They're often located sort of tucked away at the back somewhere. All machines will have a sewing light, it's another feature that they all have in common. Now the basic machine will have a single sewing light over the sewing area, whereas the more complex machines will have a graded light or a different kind of light or even two or three lights to really light up the sewing area. So on a basic model the light is just above the sewing needle. It's a straight light, you can't change it, you can't adjust the brightness and it comes on when you turn the machine on. Going to the other extreme, on the top end machines, you now have more lighting facilities. A lot of them will have two or three lights to light up the entire area. Now this particular model, which is a Husqvarna Viking SE, I've got even more options. Not only do I have lots of bright light, I can actually change the light to suit the sewing conditions. I can go from a cold, minimal lighting, cold being sort of daylight, and I can actually take the brightness up to maximum brightness. So that's like natural daylight. It's nice and bright, brilliant for sewing dark fabrics with dark threads. It means you can see so much more clearly. Or I can take the colour through from cold to warm, and as you see it getting redder. This means you can suit the lighting to the fabric you're stitching. It makes it easier on the eye, makes everything easier to see. Now, of course, all machines have foot pedals, and of course, they'd normally be on the floor. They can be different sizes and shapes and thicknesses. It doesn't really matter, and it doesn't make a lot of difference. Some actually have a retractable cord, which is very helpful when you're putting it away. If your foot pedal does start walking across the floor when you're trying to use it and you have to keep finding it, you could always put a little bit of Velcro on the underside, and that'll grip to the carpet. Another useful little gadget that I've got here, which you can use on basic models because it's magnetic, so don't use it on computerised ones, is a little magnetic seam guide. You put this in the place that you want your seam allowance to be, in this instance 5 eighths, and it just helps guide the fabric along as you stitch. 